In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create um, uh, some interesting lighting effects um, in, uh, in After Effects. So basically, this is what we're going to be creating. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new composition and call it um, Lighting Effect. And I'm going to go ahead and make a, a few solids. So first, I'm going to make a, just a black solid. solid. Now then I'm going to make a, um, another solid, like we make this one blue. And I'm going to... Um, Move the black solid to the top, and I'm gonna kind of add a uh, oval shape to this, and I'm going to invert it, Oops. and I'm going to feather my black. So we, we kind of want to make a um, Vignettes basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and okay, so now that we have our vignette, uh, we're gonna add uh, text and animate um, the text uh, in uh, in a way that's visually more pleasing. So I'm gonna say um, I'm just gonna say light. Uh, Drop it down so it's a little smaller. Now um, we're going to choose from the animate option, we're going to choose scale and change it to let's say 400 and move it down here somewhere. And now we're going to add a couple properties. We're going to add opacity. And we're going to add blur, which is all the way at the bottom of this drop down. You can't really see it on this recording. I'm going to actually go right in the beginning. I'm going to change the opacity to zero. And I'm going to change the blur to 100. And under um, range selector, I'm going to keyframe everything and offset to 100. So this is what I have here. I'm going to go to a different place in time. Change my offset to minus 100. And I'm going to change a few settings. So under more options, we're going to change anchor grouping from character to line. First thing we're going to change, and then under range selector, under advanced, we're going to change the shape from square to ramp down, and then from easy low, we're going to change this to 95. So we're going to get this kind of an interesting effect. And um, we can also make the keyframe smoother, as you recall on our keyframe uh, exercise from a few weeks back. If you highlight all the keyframes, oops, make sure you highlight the keyframes. And um, actually these ones, these two, we're gonna choose control, keyframe interpretation, or actually keyframe assistance, easy ease in. And then we're gonna do this one for easy ease out. So it has a smoother movement. And it's looking pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is to add another solid. I'm gonna do make it black. And add a lens blur. Add a lens flare. 
and well, probably want to move it out of the frame. Oops. Move it out of the frame. Keyframe it, and go to a different place in time, and basically move it over. And make sure you have the setting to add. Basically, we should get something like um, just close this. We should get something like this, and we can we can manipulate that if you want to make it come back sooner. Maybe we wanted to appear at this point. You can just move the the keyframe closer. So here I can just have it. Let's just have it maybe right here. And so now this kind of gives us an interesting result. Another thing that I'm gonna quickly show you is um, that you can also manipulate the text further by just adding um, adding additional effects to it. So one of my favorite ones is this vector player. And it kind of just gives it the more custom feel. And if you change that and from bold choose like a lighter value, you can see that it kind of looks quite more more like a neon sign and I also like to add a bit of a glow to my text so now so everything kind of matches with each other again remember that you can also change the value of the colors if you uh, if you choose to <laughs> 